So a few days ago, I was talking about like how I had a couple of DeWalt or my favorite tool was DeWalt. And I was seeing how exactly I kind of kept them organized. And they were just kind of laying in between my shelves and stuff like that. I'm gonna cut a section off of this shelf right there and make that into a two shelf and throw the top section away. That way I have two shelves. And then the top one is just the, the top shelf across from that. I was thinking that I was gonna put some kind of storage thing. So I went online, especially like uh, Amazon, and I was looking in there to see what is a good storage solution, especially for these, like to drill themselves. Um, I was looking at options. There's these little hangers that you can hang them on there like that. Maybe two hooks that directly uh, hold one side of the other side and they kind of hang like that Those hooks individually each one of those is five to seven bucks sometimes three dollars So roughly around forty nine dollars. So it's like fifty bucks if I just did the hooks and then the hooks would just go All the way until I ran out of space And it's individually hung so I was gonna put maybe like a two by four running all the way across and kind of hung them up on sequence um Anyways, 50 bucks. Then I saw another one for 60 bucks. And then I saw one for 29.99 and I could have bought uh, four pairs for 60 bucks. So I decided to get those. And today I got my Amazon box. So let's get to it. First things first, I got these for 29.99 for a set of two. Uh, they are actually, they were on sale. So the actual $29.99 deal for the set of two is not available anymore. Uh, but I definitely got them when they were in sale. So I ordered four of them. Uh, they're easily packed in there and then easier to come out the actual box. So uh, once you pull them out, all you have to do is install them. Okay, so there's actually practically no assembly to these. I'm just gonna mount these on the wall. Uh, I'm gonna level them out from the top. I'm gonna get a straight line. Uh, and then just hook these onto the actual wall directly to it. it comes with a bag of screws uh, but there is basically nothing to it uh, the rat comes out and my tool is gone might even be able to double up on some tools double up like that i uh, just thought about it right now because some of these go all the way like far in and i don't need that entire space but the rack itself holds Three on one side, just like that. The other side holds an additional three. Every three plus additional storage on the top and in between that for knickknacks and stuff. And in between, we space it out just right. You can get another tool which you can hang up to seven. I started cutting off my shelf. It's gonna go from a three shelf to a two shelf rack. Uh, once I'm done cutting that off, the first thing that I did was actually use my plumb to get a straight line. I drew off my straight line, and in this case, I'm using a two by eight um, to actually hang those uh, storage racks for my uh, tools because I wasn't able to match them up to a two by four. I think it's a work in progress. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't have time to organize it right now, but uh, most definitely the spacers here, uh, as far as these, uh, there's no two by fours in between that. So you hit one two by four and you hit sheetrock, sheetrock. So I just put a two by eight. I had an extra piece. I didn't even cut it because it's, uh, it's pretty hot and been kind of just working all day. But uh, yeah, just put the two by eight and slap this on. Uh, it makes for a good base uh, in the back and it'll hold this on. And then batteries and everything is kind of just stored there. So yeah, I think this is a cool little uh, hack uh, and it works really well. I actually have an entire rail that I didn't use anything for. So this is what my uh, 
layout is starting to look like. Uh, I can't move stuff around. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like, well, I mean, it's just an extra one. Uh, actually, I love everything about it. Uh, if I had more tools, I would definitely use this one. I would use this. Like I said earlier, uh, when I'm in there, uh, depending on like the width you use, where these two middle, uh, there's nothing in between. So you can open that up wider, but uh, this is a lot wider than the other ones. So it doesn't fit there. So I was able to make this wider in order for it to fit there. And it's one of those things that if there wasn't a divider there, uh, you can move it up wider or narrower. If there's something that's skinnier than this, in between these two right there, uh, you can sandwich one more tool in there. All right, so this is kind of my finished product. I definitely uh, started off with four racks. I went ahead and I kept three racks. I kept the, this is one rack here. This is the division in between that. And I spread that open a little bit further just to fit that one tool. That's another rack. I spread that just a little bit so I can fit this uh, half inch drive. That's it. That's how it's gonna look. Uh, I like the way it is. Most definitely I'm gonna move this and possibly put my chainsaw up there somehow uh, when something very similar to my edger but uh, the charger is going to be here uh, I have an additional shelf uh, some more stuff to clean up obviously it's a work in progress once I'm done cleaning up everything it should look a little bit more organized but this definitely is a hundred times better than it was earlier when I started with this project so uh that's it for as far as this project i'm definitely going to get rid of another rack uh, i already took it off and when i mean a rack i showed you guys earlier but i didn't show you guys a close-up the rack comes with uh, a space for three tools you're able to hold three tools on there that's it for that uh, i hope this helps these were really good as far as organizing all my stuff uh, and it's a lifesaver. It's just gonna make me do more work uh, a lot faster.